Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and I just want to wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving. I know that I have an international audience. A lot of people don't really know what Thanksgiving is. If you don't know what it is and you actually want to know, go Google it. But for all the Americans out there who are going to be celebrating Thanksgiving today, I want to bring up a point here. What we see all over the fitness industry, we're going to see some other channels who are going to discuss this. They're going to perpetuate some of the eating disorders and problems that competitive bodybuilding physique competitors, other people who are obsessed or people with orthorexia nervosa tend to push in this industry. They're going to talk to you guys about trying to eat clean and taking Tupperware and things to your Thanksgiving. Now, I want to point out, I understand that a few of you, a very tiny number of you out there, less than 1% are going through a contest prep. That's besides the point. If you have a contest prep, do what you need to do. But the vast, overwhelming majority of people involved in fitness, people who work out, are not physique competitors, will never be physique competitors, have no intention of being physique competitors. If you're smart, you take my advice, you will not become one. Because physique competition tends to lead to development of eating disorders and body image disorders that didn't already exist. It's not a good idea. So I don't want to see the comments below about people saying, but I have a physique competition coming up in six weeks, yeah, you're less than 1% of the possible viewers out there. They're, you're statistically irrelevant. So let's talk about everybody else here. All right, guys, this is a holiday. This is going to be a social event for your friends, family, but primarily family for the majority of you out there. This is one of the things the fitness industry does. It tends to promote behavior and eating patterns. It will make you a social outcast. It will reduce your quality of life. My advice is to go in and enjoy your Thanksgiving. And I'm not saying you need to stuff yourself until you're throwing up or passing out, but to not go and enjoy your grandma's pecan pie or some extra turkey and dressing and maybe a bowl of ice cream on the side because of your fitness lifestyle is actually not emotionally or mentally healthy and it's bad for you and your family. What I'm gonna recommend do not get into any method that has you do any sort of purge after. So don't go eat and then go do six hours of cardio the next day. I'm going to give some advice here that is a little more healthy. If you know you're going to have a big cheat day like that and eat quite a bit of junk going into it, cut your food back just a little bit going into it. Diet a little cleaner, diet a little stricter, maybe do some extra cardio. I myself am going to do about an hour of cardio this morning before we go do Thanksgiving. And because I know I've burned through some extra calories... I'm not going to think about it once I get there. I'm, I'm going to enjoy my pecan pie and ice cream. I'm going to enjoy every last bite of it. I'm not going to count a single macro, a single calorie. I'm just going to enjoy myself. And you know what? If I overeat a little bit, my cut has been very successful up to this point. I am getting very much leaner day to day. It's noticeable. My friends notice the bodybuilders at my gym notice. My girlfriend notices. So I'm not going to care about it. I'm going to go in and enjoy myself. And you know what? If I happen to overeat a little bit, tomorrow is a lifting day. I've got a deadlift tomorrow. I'll just use that as extra training for fuel to hopefully try to get one more rep on my heaviest set of deadlifts. That's what I'm going to use it for is to actually improve my performance. So I'm actually hoping to get a little bit of glycogen super compensation from it. So it's going to fuel my training tomorrow. I'm going to use it to my advantage. And that's the way that you need to look at these things. Don't become a social outcast. Don't take Tupperware to your Thanksgiving. Eat your grandma's pecan pie. Tell her how good it is. Enjoy yourself, have fun, and if you're that worried about it, go into it ahead of time. Do a little extra cardio the morning of or and the evening before so that you can go in there and know that it's not going to be a big deal. Don't think about it. Don't go in and try to weigh anything or count your macros and look like a crazy person in front of everyone. Just go in and enjoy yourself. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.